Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of El Haji Yoseinu Diof. El Haji Yoseinu Diof, born on January 15, 1981, in Dakar, Senegal, is a Senegalese football player who was named African Football Confederation, that is, Confederation Africaine de Football, CAF, Player of the Year for 2001 and 2002. He was a fiery, controversial figure off the field and established himself as a striker and midfielder whose strength, pace and quick thinking often proved unsettling for opposing defenders. When Diof was still a teenager at 17, he went to France to play first division professional football with the Social Club. When Social was relegated to the second division, Dioff was picked up by Rennes for the 1999-2000 seasons, enabling him to continue playing in the first division. He got a criminal record after crashing a teammate's car and injuring a female passenger while driving without a license. Though the French court, rather than sending him to prison, sentenced him to community service. Thereafter, Rennes transferred him to Lens in 2000, where he played for two seasons. In addition to playing for French football clubs, Dioff was also a prominent member of Senegal's national team. He made his debut in April 2000 against Benin. Dioff inspired his team to the finals of the African Cup of Nations in February 2002 but lost to Cameroon. Senegal also qualified for the 2002 World Cup and caused a major upset when they defeated defending champion France in the first round. Although the team lost to Turkey in the quarterfinals, Diop's outstanding performance all through the tournament earned him a place in the 2002 World Cup All-Star team. Diop was appointed captain of Senegal's national team in 2006. A year later, while still captain, he announced his retirement from international football, which was largely viewed as a protest against organizational problems of the team's management. His retirement was brief, however, and he returned to play with Senegal in the 2008 African Cup of Nations competition. In July 2011, he was slammed with a five-year suspension from all football-related activities in Senegal after he said that the governing body of African football was corrupt. After the 2002 World Cup, Diop joined England's Liverpool FC for a fee of £10 million. His impressive performances for Senegal in the World Cup, where they got to the quarter-finals, led to much excitement for his arrival. Coach Gerard Hulia hoped Diop was the striker that would help Liverpool take the Premier League title from Manchester United, having finished second place in the previous season. Diop was impressive in his early games for Liverpool including his first game at Anfield, where he scored two goals in a 3-0 win against Southampton on the 24th of August 2002. He also started the 2003 Football League Cup final as Liverpool defeated Manchester United, but Diop was unable to replicate his goal scoring in subsequent matches. Liverpool fans had to wait until March 2003 for Diop's next goal for the club. That was in a 2-0 win against Bolton Wanderers where he scored once and provided the assist for the second. The next game Diop played on the 13th of March 2003 proved to be an unfortunate turning point in his professional career. In the game, which was a UEFA Cup quarter-final match against Celtic in Scotland, Diop somehow overran the perimeter of the pitch and fell into the crowd. He reacted by spitting at a Celtic fan and Liverpool fined him heavily for that misconduct. He was also charged with assault, pleaded guilty and was fined £5,000. Diop failed to score for the remainder of the 2002-2003 season. 
He also did not score at all in the 2003-2004 season, which saw him get 13 yellow and 1 red card on the 7th of January 2004, when he was sent off in a 1-0 away win against Chelsea for fouling Adrian Mutu. By then, he had become hugely unpopular due to both his attitude and his goal drought. During the 2004-2005 season, Dioff went on loan from Liverpool to Bolton Wanderers. His performance was spectacular on the field, so he was very popular with the fans. On the whole, he fit well with the Bolton team, which signed him at the beginning of the 2005-2006 season. However, his impulsive behavior continued to follow him. In late 2006, he was arrested after he allegedly assaulted his wife, but he was released without being charged. Also in 2008, Geoff left Bolton and signed with Sunderland, but his performance there was less than impressive. After less than a year with the team, he was transferred to Blackburn Rovers in January 2009. In 2011, he signed with the second division English club, Doncaster Rovers. In 2012, he joined Leeds United, a second division side. Two years later, he signed with the Malaysian squad Sabah FA, with whom he played one season before retiring from professional football. Dioff was a recipient of a number of awards including being named African Footballer of the Year for 2001 and 2002 consecutively. In 2002, he was also BBC African Footballer of the Year. He was listed in FIFA's World Cup All-Star Team for 2002. In 2004, he was listed in the FIFA 100, a list of the 125 greatest living footballers selected by football legend Pele in conjunction with FIFA's centenary celebrations. The fact that Dioff was a prolific footballer is not in doubt and he has honors and awards to show for it, but unfortunately, he had a way of getting into controversies which largely overshadowed his achievements on the pitch. Post Football As of 2017, Dioff was working as a government goodwill ambassador and advisor on sport to President Macky Sall of Senegal. Geoff was also running his own sports newspaper outfit and a gymnasium in Dakar. What have we missed out of this biography of Geoff? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.